These days, many people are calling themselves Robin, but Damian Wayne says they are not worthy of the name, and reluctantly, Dick Grayson agrees. The kids are untrained and undisciplined. They are eager when they should be scared. They are scared when they should be eager. They're not Robin, at least not yet. Grayson was Robin, the very first. He wore the colors they are wearing. He bled them black. And that means he's responsible for whatever happens to them, whatever they've done, and whatever they're going to do. The kids need training, so Dick and his brothers are going to do it. The kids have guts, but it's time to prove they are capable of glory. It's time for the kids to go to Robin School. The four original Robins divide up the newbies into groups, each beginning their own training regiment. Tim Drake begins his session by insisting that he and his Robins fight one another blindfolded. To be a Robin, you have to understand the unknown and seek to learn it. You must ask yourself how to see in the dark. Batman once told Tim that being a Robin can be summarized with one word. Investigation. Jason Todd takes his kids above ground, ignoring Dick's instructions to stay in the sewers. There he brings them to a mob gathering. He orders the kids to go and bring him back a wheel from each of the mobsters' cars. As they dive down to complete the task, Red Hood remarks that Grayson is going to be all mad when everyone gets shot, but he is surprised when one of the Robins, a young man named Dax, returns with both a steering wheel and a tire, having not been sure of which type of wheel Jason met. Truly impressed, the Red Hood says that Batman once told him that being a Robin comes down to one word. Confidence. Meanwhile, Damian Wayne pummels his trainees. He insists they are all weak and a waste of his time. Knocking them all to the ground, he calls them scum. Nothing. None of them understand what it takes to be a Robin. But Batman once told Damian it all comes down to one word. Suffering. However, one young woman named Izzy gets up and taunts the young Wayne. She insists they continue the fight. Elsewhere, Dick Grayson begins a one-on-one -on -one training session with Duke Thomas. The first Robin is meeting as many of the kids as he can. As they practice fighting, Grayson is surprised when Duke reveals that he knows Dick's identity. It wasn't even that hard given the public knowledge that Dick Grayson is Nightwing, and the first Robin is impressed. Above ground, Jim Gordon is listening in on the Robins. It turns out he has a source on the inside, feeding him information. As Gordon listens to Dick Grayson's words, he remains conflicted about the situation. Down below, Dick announces he has four missions that need to be completed. He has each of the original Robins pick their best pupil, and they set out to complete their task. Dre, a Robin and the son of a mobster, is chosen by Tim. They are to break into a police station and find out what the cops are planning. Dax and the Red Hood are to see what weapons the police have ready by getting their attention and seeing what comes their way. Izzy and Damien are to deal with the new Batman. And finally, Duke and Grayson are going to be the reserve team. If anyone needs their help, they will come. While Duke sits and waits, he expects a lecture from Grayson, but Dick doesn't have anything to say. The first Robin asks if Duke thinks that only the originals understand how to be a Robin, and Thomas says he doesn't think that. Grayson doesn't feel that way either. Meanwhile, the other three missions go horribly wrong, as they find the police are waiting for them. Every one of the Robins, including those hiding underground, find themselves captured by the cops. Damien realizes they have been betrayed, and he knows exactly who is responsible. Who else but him? The tight ass who thinks they are all still children. As Duke and Grayson are also surrounded by the police, the first Robin admits he betrayed them all. Duke is shocked, but Grayson explains that he couldn't keep all the Robins out of jail, so he trained them as best and as quickly as he could, then made sure the arrests were clean and safe. Grayson then begins to scale a wall, knowing that climbing and heights aren't really Duke's specialty. When Dick figures out what is going on here, he'll need his army ready to break out. But for now, this whole mess is his responsibility, and he's going to get to the bottom of this alone. Duke follows Grayson, and the first Robin asks Thomas to explain the situation to the others. Duke is a natural born leader, and it's time for him to start leading. The police capture Duke, who is furious, while Dick prepares to jump away. Batman once told Grayson that being a Robin is about one thing, family. 
and Dick takes care of his family. Unseen by anyone, Dick is watched by an owl. They are pleased that Grayson is doing as they taught him. A good Nightwing takes care of his family, and the Court of the Owls will always take care of him. Hello and welcome to Comic Island. My name is Arden, and this is my recap and review of Grayson number 15. Well, this was an awesome comic. Following up on our last outing of Robin War, I really like this issue. It had great art and an excellent story. I really like the ideas and implications behind what each of the Robins said about what Batman taught them about being Robin. Bruce clearly recognized the strength of each Robin and what they need to focus on to be the best hero they could be. For Tim Drake, that focus was rather obviously on investigation, his specialty. Red Hood's was confidence, and I liked the little nod they had to Jason's origins what was stealing the Batmobile's tires. Damien's focus was on suffering, and again that makes a whole lot of sense, while Dick Grayson's was on family, tying into his actions during this issue quite nicely. The whole idea of turning the Robins in made sense too, and feels like something Batman would do to control the situation. As Dick Grayson has known and worked with Batman the longest, his behavior makes a lot of sense to me here. Overall, this was an excellent second issue of the Robin War, and I'm really excited to see what happens for the rest of the story. I'm not really sure exactly what's happening here, but the Court of the Owls has me excited for what's coming. These are relatively new villains to the world of Batman that they've always left a strong impression on me, and I'm really enjoying their presence here. What they are planning, and what this has to do with Nightwing, who they seem really interested in, all of that is going to be revealed, and I'm really looking forward to it. So stay tuned as I continue my coverage of the Robin War with Detective Comics number 47. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep reading comics.